everybody. In this session, we will be doing Taylor series expansion for various functions. Okay. Uh, you must be wondering uh, what is the use of doing the expansion if you know f of x is sin x what is the point of knowing the expansion once you write it as an expansion it will be it, it is just like a polynomial for you like you can see look at this is the Taylor series expansion and when you do the expansion you can see x minus a y minus b and the derivative so at the point so this will be a point fx of a b means first derivative with respect to x, partial derivative with respect to x at the point a, b. So, this will be a point and this is a polynomial, you know, x is there, y is there. Here, x minus a whole square will be there. So, then you get the expansion in terms of polynomial for all the functions. Any function you are given, you are able to write it as a polynomial. Once you write it as a polynomial, it will be easy for further calculations or if you want to find the limits, uh, if you want to find integration, find the derivative for everything, it will be easy. So that's why we are going to write a few function in functions in terms of polynomials by, by using Taylor's series. Okay. Now, so the formula goes like this, f of a, b. a and b are the values at which they want us to approximate the function. And x minus a, a you know it will be a point, x will stay as it is fx means first partial derivative, first order derivative with respect to x and fy means derivative of the given function with respect to y, partial derivative. Okay, And fxx, fxx means you must do the de double derivative with respect to x partially and please remember very very important is what is the meaning of xy. xy means we will do the derivative in the order x first and then y next. First, when the function is given, do the partial derivative with respect to x. After that, you will do the partial derivative with respect to y. Please remember, uh, you must be doing uh, dou square f by dou x dou y. The difference between the two is, in this dou square f by dou x dou y, we were doing the derivative of y first. After that, we were doing the derivative of f first. But when it is given as a suffix, the order should be followed from left to right. But when it is given in this form, you will be doing dou y first and dou x next. Okay, so you must be careful about this. And whenever suffix come, follow the or suffix comes, follow the order. When dou square f by dou x dou y comes, derivative with respect to y will be done first. After that, the derivative with respect to x will be done will be done. But in this case, derivative with the x will be done first and then we will be differentiating with respect to y, all partial derivatives. Okay. And remember, x, y, y means that differentiate with respect to x, that answer differentiate with respect to y, that answer you have to differentiate with respect to y once again. That is the meaning of this. Okay. Once you are... <coughs> Once you are clear with this concept, we can go and expand a few functions using Taylor's expansion. Now, this is uh, the first question is, uh, you are going to expand f of x, y is, is given by sin x into sin y and you are going to expand it near the origin. I am starting with an easy question uh, because <coughs> origin means your a and b become 0, 0 for you. So, the calculations are little easier. So, let us start doing a simpler sum to start with. So, f of x y is equal to sin x y and you are going to find the Taylor series expansion near the origin. Okay. So, your question will be like this. Okay. Use Taylor series. Taylor series formula to find f of x y is equal to sin x into sin y and the polynomial and you have to find it near the origin. Okay, so the question will stay like this. Okay, use Taylor series formula to find the expansion for f of x y 
which is sin x comma sin x times sin y near the origin that will be your question uh, as the question is very big i am going to erase this part and in every question they will give you you are supposed to approximate it to the quadratic or to cubic okay so once you are asked to do up to the quadratic you will have up to second line only and sometimes they will ask you to uh, um, approximate up to cubes quad cubic then you will have the third line also generally you know few sometimes taylor series comes in part a question sometimes it comes in part b question when it comes in part a question generally it will be up to quadratic or even sometimes linear and at that time they will ask you generally with 0 0 but when it comes in part b question you will be sometimes asked to powers of 3 like that they will ask you and if you are asked to do for powers of 3 this is the line with which powers of 3 are there so you are supposed to do up to this and they will give you the values of a and b as numbers okay and secondly this is a very easy and important topic because every year a question comes in this top in this type and it is quite easy to do also okay so let me erase this part so that we get some space to do so we are solving the first example okay and when you write the solution also you must be seriously organized otherwise inside your answers you have to search search and you have to plug in it will take lot of time so when you are solving it also be organized i'll let you know how you are going to be organized while writing the answer okay now go to the <coughs> formula f of x y which is nothing but sin x times sin y now what is f of a b let me calculate and i asked you to do at the origin so f of ab is going to be f of 0 comma 0 and what is its value and you know that is sin 0 times sin 0 and what is it 0 okay so when you do this you just write in your answer script this is 0 put a rectangle and keep it ready so we just look at the rectangles and then we keep on copying one by one okay now we are going to find fx of ab listen carefully f x of a b before doing that i should do f x of x y what is f x of x y partial derivative of sin x into sin y with respect to x please remember when we are doing the partial derivative with respect to x which is constant y part is constant so sin y is considered as constant better write that first on the line when you differentiate it and what is the derivative of sin x derivative of sin x is cos x once you do this i will do fx of 0 0 the next moment when i substitute 0 here this is sin 0 into cos of 0 you know sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 and 0 times 1 is again 0 so you keep fx of 0 0 equal to 0 and you draw a rectangle and keep it ready so we now we are left out to do f y of a b okay so before that we should do f y of x y we should do first after we do f x of f y of x y then we will substitute the value of a and b okay so let me do f y of x y to start with what is f y of x y where is the function here is the function so f if we are differentiating with respect to y partially what is constant sin x is constant x is constant hence sin x is constant therefore write sin x as it is and what is the derivative of sin y derivative of sin y is cos y so write that here and now i want to know f y of 0 comma 0 what is f y of 0 0 you know sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 now onwards no need to write this you can do mentally sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 1 0 times 1 is 0 so f x of 0 0 is 0 so easy for us this became 0 for us this part is 0 so no point in writing this line this is also 0 so up to this all have become 0 so no need for us to write it when we write the expansion now let us do the second line what is f x x of a b i am supposed to calculate for doing f x x of a b i am supposed to do f x x of x y first okay 
write neatly when you write in a hurry x and y will look same f x of x y what is f x of x x second derivative with respect to x from which line this line this is f x of x y if i differentiate it once more with respect to x i get the double derivative of x sorry double derivative with respect to x so y is a constant so sin y stays as it is and you know cos x derivative is minus sin x after doing this i need to know f x x of 0 0 again you know sin 0 is 0 cos 0 is 0 so the net answer is 0 draw a rectangle and keep here i forgot to draw better draw it okay now we are going to do f x y of ab let us do that okay f x y of x y we will do first what do we do x derivative first which is ready here i am going to differentiate this with respect to y now if i am going to differentiate this with respect to y which is the constant cos x is the constant so keep it ready and what is the derivative of y part which is sin y the derivative of sin y is cos y now i am going to do f x y of x y which is nothing but uh, sorry i am going to substitute the values now which is for 0 0 what is cos 0 1 again here it is cos 0 so the net answer is 1 so as usual draw a rectangle and keep it ready okay now we have done up to this and we are going to do the last one because we are not going to do the third one here because we are asked to expand only up to quadratic okay now going to this part uh, what should i do now f y y i should do okay so let me do f f sorry f y y of x y let me do first um, for that i should go to the first derivative where i have finished f y so this function if i differentiate once more with respect to y i'll get f y y okay so i have to differentiate this with respect to y so x is a constant so let me write sin x as it is and what's the derivative of cos x negative sin x sorry what is the derivative of cos y negative sin y and when i want to find f y y of 0 0 you get the answer as this is sin 0 and here y if you substitute it become 0 so sin 0 times sin 0 which is 0 so for the first line i have calculated everything so let me write the taylor series now okay so f of xy what is f of xy for us sin x into sin y equal to this is 0 for you this is zero for you this is zero for you okay and you got this as zero but f x y of zero this is a number so i am going to write this full part for us all others are zero only this that part i am going to write what is in the beginning 1 by 2 factorial is there so let me write that to start with 1 by 2 factorial into 2 times x minus a what is a zero for you so x minus 0 times y minus b which is y minus 0 f x y of a b which is 1 and then you can put a plus and then say etc so your 2 factorial is nothing but 1 into 2 which is just 2 so 2 and 2 will get cancel so you get x y plus etc so which is the taylor's expansion for sin x times sin y up to quadratic term suppose if you are asked this will come in part a up to quadratic term with 0 0 and all suppose if they ask you to do till the cubic term you will be doing the next next line also you must be completing it so when you write itself be organized and write it neatly so that you don't take lot of time to go and check the answer inside hope it is clear for